Hi there guys and girls, welcome to EFLA 442. My name's Ben and I'm going to show you how to install and launch your very own adventure map on both single and multiplayer. So if you're here just to know how to set up on a multiplayer, I'll have, uh, there'll be, on the side here there'll be a, so in my screen there'll be annotations or something, there'll be boxes, you click on one of them, you know, they'll be labelled what part of the tutorial or the how-to guide that you'll be jumping to. So uh, we're going to start at the beginning, I'm going to start by covering finding WinRAR, so I'll be discovering what kind of operating system you've got, setting a shortcut to your desktop with your .minecraft folder, how to, where to put your files for both single and multiplayer, we'll cover the multiplayer one actually when we download the server file, and then lastly I'll be testing them all. So if you want to know how to install your multiplayer thing, click it, click the link, because I know a lot of people might already know how to do it single player wise. But for everyone that's new, welcome, here we go. Right, well what you need to do is find out first what kind of operating system you have. And uh, you go to your start menu, right click on properties, and there we go, you can see I have a, so I can't select that, that's good. I've got a 64-bit operating system, so I want to download WinRAR for a 64-bit machine, if yours says 32 you want to download the 32 bit. Now the best site I the site that I use maybe not the best site, but the site that I, I I trust is CNET. So what you do at this link the link that I'm going to be posting in will be in the description box below. WinRAR, I'm not even going to write in 32 or 64 because it, it should come up near the top. Do you know what? That's it there. WinRAR 32 bit, so I'll have that link and I'll have this link here, 64. I'll click on the 64 bit. I've already got install, but I'll just show you how easy it is. You just click this. You just wait after you click it. It definitely comes up automatically. You have to click anything now because there's so many ads here. There you go. I knew one bit came up automatically. So there you go. You go save file. You save the file, download it, install it. It does it all itself. You do is click install. Select the drive you want to install it to, and boom, that's you got WinRAR installed. Next thing, we want to have this. I've got a dot Minecraft shortcut on my desktop. Now your dot Minecraft folders where all your Minecraft files and things are saved. So if you do texture packs or adventure maps, you have to have access to this. So how you find it? Is you go into your start button at the bottom. And you type percent sign app data percent sign, and you see a folder called Roman has came up at the top. And there you go. Dot Minecraft is very top of my list. It might be a little bit further down. Depends. If you've got folders, I've got numbers at the start, uh, but there we go, there's mine. I just then do create shortcut. There's the shortcut, you then click and drag the shortcut. I'll say, I'll keep both, and then I'll just delete the second shortcut. So you see how easy it is once you've got your shortcut. You'll then see that you'll have these folders. You might not have some of them. You'll, you, If you've not installed the Minecraft server file, you'll definitely not have this folder yet, and we'll cover that later on. Uh, so yeah, we want to first tackle where you'd put your adventure map files. You put them in your saves and you can see these are the worlds I've made or worlds I've even down, I've downloaded so what you do is you keep this open and we will now go and find a site that downloads adventure maps. I have bookmarked a site. You may have a site that you want to go to yourself but I'm going to go to this one which again I'll have a link in the description box so there we go www.minecraftmaps.com forward slash adventure hyphen maps. Now, you can select any of these maps. They're all, you know, loads of different types. Some will say multiplayer, some will be single player. You just read the description box. You can see that you know, some of them are riddle ones, some of them are follow markers, some of them are like almost like a, a guess who sort of like, you know, like a there's a murder happening, find clues and stuff. I mean, there's loads of different types of maps. Uh, but what I'm going to do. I've already downloaded one, uh, I think it's called this one here, Off Guard and Experiment. I've already downloaded it, but I'm choosing this one because it's a good one to test if you want to run single player and multiplayer because it launches both. I found that some don't, some single player, some multiplayer ones don't launch in single player for some reason. I don't know how, or maybe it's a problem at my end, but Off Guard and Experiment. It's about a good bit down the page. You want to just go and look at the settings, see if it will work on your computer. This is for Minecraft 1.4.7. It says it works on Windows XP, Vista, and 7. It also works on Windows 8 because it's been tested. On a win I've tested it in my house on a Windows 8 computer. Uh, so if you've got Windows 8, don't worry, it will also work. You want to click Download Map, and then there's the Media Fire. This is what you start download. Just to save. Um, 
you wait for that to download. We'll just close this off now because we don't need it anymore. And then what we'll do is, see, you see it's one of ones, I've already downloaded it. So I'll have two copies of it. The, the map maker will be getting excited to go, oh, got even more downloads. Um, I've actually not played the map, I've just used it to do this tutorial, so if it, I don't know if it's good or not, I'm sure it will be, because someone's put a lot of effort into making it, so I'm sure that it's it's decent. Um, there's, I'll, there'll be an annotation on screen for who, who the creator is to say thank you for making an awesome map, so I didn't catch his name. I've done this tutorial twice, and first as a tester and second time for real, and I still didn't take his name. So open containing folder, you see there we go, I've got it twice. You want to right click it. And um, because you've got WinRAR or even 7-zip installed, you want to extract. So we'll just extract it in this folder here. And there it's there. So we'll put the folder into the desktop so we can see it. Close that off now. We can close this off. Double click it, make sure it's not a folder. It is a folder within a folder. Because I've I think if you do it to your desktop it, it, it doesn't do this, but there we go. That's it now. So you see it's data when you click it, it's got the data and the all these files are here. So all we'll do is we'll do copy and with the saves in our dot minecraft folder still open we'll just do paste. Now what we'll do is before we test this one I'll also do this the setup for the people who are doing multiplayer and we'll do the testing for both at the end. Um so we'll just put this to one side just now. So that's you got it saved. Now we're going to show you how to do it for your multiplayer server. What you want to do is you want to log in to minecraft.net there's a link in the description in sequential order of what we've done so the WinRAR links the minecraft adventure map links you know and we're now if you scroll down you'll see it it's the the link to minecraft.net minecraft.net I wish I had a link I should just click I should really make a, a bookmark thing at the top there we go you want to log in so if you just give me 30 seconds I'll log in even take as long as 30 seconds I'm that quick download now you want to go to and then you'll see here multiplayer server if you're running on Windows and just want to set up a server easily download this file here not the deal on that one just I'm selecting everything but the thing I want to show you <laughs> you want to download that file there and once you download it it installs into your it installs and then you get this folder here that gets set up inside your .minecraft folder called server and in that server folder you get the band IPs, the band players, the minecraft server bat file that runs the server uh, and all these things here. You'll only ever need to really click on, I mean if you're doing an adventure app it's usually you and your buddies so you may not have to you won't pull off the ban anyone but the main ones you will have to use are the minecraft server which I've made a shortcut to it to launch the server from my desktop and the server properties file. Now what you'll notice is we want to have this map available to play on our multiplayer server but there's no way I want to have to write in behavior research candidate blah 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 so I'm just going to copy this paste it into the server folder and I'm going to name it Ben because I'm lazy and I don't want to type a lot of words oh that stuff's already called Ben uh, oops a daisy I will delete that one <laughs> try it again Ben Ben there we go press ok or just click away and that's the folder changed to Ben so now what you do is you go to server properties and obviously I've done this tutorial already so I've already changed the name it, it's, it, it'll say either new world it'll say world maybe it'll probably be called world so you just delete the word world save the word Ben and then and that's your done that's your server set up and all you do is you click the run file that's in this folder make a shortcut you stick it on your desktop if you want you click run and you should see it'll say here preparing level Ben so you, you can minimize that and we can now test to make sure that our single player game and multiplayer game have been added successfully log in let's maximize the screen I don't want to update because I've got lots of mods and I cannot be bothered reinstalling them all again just now we'll first check single player and we're looking for a folder called Ben Oh no, we're not. We're not. We didn't change the name. Derp. Adventure test. Behavior. Remember, we didn't change it in the single player. We put it in as what was called behavior research release candidate 1.1. So we want to click that. We want to play the world. Once you've played it once, it'll be at the top of your saves. 
there we go it's uh follow this line and that's you follow that line to go to that village that's just generating in front of us we'll quickly escape that now and show you how to do a multiplayer what you want to do is click this find your ip obviously uh, for your i'll show you to find your ip because you might not know logging in as we, there we go same map i spawn the spawn points a bit iffy there we go follow this line this is the multiplayer one the multiplayer one you can see it's a multiplayer one because it shows you my connection on the screen there uh, obviously it'll be full because I'm connecting to my internal whatever it is online this disconnect we're going to show you how to find your your IP which is that number there because yours will be different from mine so I'll just do cancel I'll close that off what you do is you go to start type in CMD and then type in IP config press return enter what you want to call it and then you want to look for this one here is the IPv4 address one means is 192.168.1.7 every time I turn my mode at my uh, wireless router thing the, the thing that gives me wire Wi-Fi I'm terrible with words here uh, the thing if I turn it off it changes so every time I turn my if you turn off the power to your your wireless adapter uh, your number will change just so you know in case you scratch your head going I can't connect you, you'll have to keep making sure it's always the same number so once you write that into your server information you're good to go and I hope this video was helpful I'm sorry it was a bit broken I should have really showed you how to do that part before we've done the server part that was just me totally losing track of an order there but I hope you managed to learn something new I hope you enjoyed it if you did please uh, you know click the like button favorite and share it on any social networking site that you know about uh, you know, if you use Facebook, for example, or Google Plus, it'd be awesome just to spread my videos, get people noticing. And also, if you could subscribe, that'd be even more epic. As always, I've been Ben, and you've been awesome.